Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. I am JP Natural, and we are going to be back with some more FIFA 22's Men's World Cup update. When we last left off, we escaped the 1-1 the draw against Morocco, but we managed to still win the group. But now we go against our next opponent, Germany, in the round of 16. Great camera work there, game. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, here's our lineup and against theirs. Plus, I'm going to use this as an opportunity to test out the brand new uh, FIFA 23 Share Factory theme. So you'll notice definitely a few things, both with the intro, this upcoming transition, and the outro. So keep an eye out for those. But in any case, once again, just going to let the commentary take over as we get started in the round of 16 match against Germany. See you at the end of the game, everybody. Excitement in the air and welcome to this round of 16 contest here at the 2022 World Cup. My name is Derek Ray and alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere building up, what a game this promises to be. It's Canada versus Germany. Absolutely, this should be a good game. I think both sides deserve to be here, but whichever team plays to their full potential should make it into the quarterfinals. It's going to be a good game. And here's the starting lineup for Canada. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer stands between the posts. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Niklas Zule at the back. Leon Goretzka plays with Emre Can in central midfield. And the starting role and attack today is handed to Timo Werner. And so the battle commences. Taking it away. Emre Can. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? And here's Joshua Kimi. It's a perfect challenge. And Germany get the throw. A chance to whip it in. Kimi on to Jan. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Well, from a Canadian point of view, just getting out of the group stage represents a remarkable achievement, but the determined to go a step further. And the fact of the matter is, so many of these players are performing at a high level for their club sides week in, week out. Well, I thought they did really well in the group stages, and you're absolutely right. Nobody expected them to get to the last 16, but now they're here. They want to put in a good performance and show everybody what a really good side they are. Well read to put an end to that attack. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner. Oh, he's through and go here, Derek. 
Oh, he saved it. Well, excellent from the keeper. That's a really top-class save. Corner kick played in. Another corner conceded. What can they do with this one? Well, the danger is still there. Couldn't grab hold of it. Well, nothing untoward happened. Oh, well, fine play, and maybe it'll set something up. Joshua Kimmich. Now with Havertz. And a poor ball. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Alistair Johnston. Rudiger. Gozens. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. And it's gone behind for the corner. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. Sané. Goretzka. Got to it easily, the keeper. And winning it back. Well, that'll be a free kick. And that's a straightforward stop. Now they're on the scent of something positive. And that is how to tackle inside your own penalty area. Leroy Zane. No space for them here. Timo Werner. And a fine stop. Eustachio. Osorio has it. Well, the stats confirm that Germany have had the lion's share of possession, but without really creating... Oh, surely! Brilliant save. And he's fired over the corner. Oh, he's lost possession. Not a chance here, perhaps, to invigorate their aerial targets. Can someone get on the end of this? Gozens did well to win the ball back. Timo Werner. Sané. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Must score! Well, really, making the goalkeeper's life simple. That should be hit in the back of the net. That was a big, big chance. So the whistle then.
We're up the halfway stage in this match. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Gnabry, under pressure, doesn't seem to be bothering him. Oh, but they've lost it now. In with a chance. A lovely attempt. And off target in the end. And that'll be a goal kick. Alfonso Davies got attacking possibilities. Can he put them in front? Zula stops it. <laughs> Playing it in. Well cleared away. Cross fired over. Oh, he needs to clear it here. Emre Jan. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. Havertz. Gnabry with it. Goretzka. Sané. Just the challenge that was required. Plenty of support here. Oh, terrific pass. And there it is, 1-0. The efforts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. Well, let's take another look at this through ball by Goretzka. He gets the timing absolutely right. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Nil then. For Germany, number 11, Nicely cut out. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. And up for grabs off the keeper. Well, nothing comes of it. Buchanan. Well, possibilities in the centre. Given away again. And you don't want to lose possession there. Havertz! And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender's just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, here's the replay. He's got such quick feet, hasn't he? Just look how he goes past his marker to get his shot away. That's a really good goal. So, 2-0 now. Real chance! And quite simply, a wonderful chance was squandered. Emre Can. Well, as you can see, Germany have had the majority of the ball. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. It has gone over the touchline for what'll be a throw-in. <laughs> 
Thomas Müller. Sané. Could be. And a goal to increase their advantage to three. Can they be stopped? Well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish. But the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post covered for me. And the action underway once more, with Germany very much on top. Well, that shouldn't really happen from a throw-in. Is this the moment? Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. And he's fired over the corner. Well, it has come to nothing. And a Kubi. Oh, he's given the ball away. Can they convert? Rifled against the post, but back in play. Cleared away comprehensively. Alfonso Davies. And given away. Well, that'll be a free kick. And time for the change now. a bit too late in this contest they haven't been at the races this evening no shortage of goals in this match 3-1 well that's how to keep the opposition at bay Timo Werner nicely timed tackle and so into the final five minutes well, that pass easy on the eye. Couldn't grab hold of it. Well, a time for composure on the ball. Werner. This is Müller. Müller. And simple for the keeper. Well, three minutes of stoppage time added on here. Sané. What's he going to do here? Müller. Oh, in with a chance. Terrific save. Well, that's a top-class save. He read it so well. <laughs> Substitution time it is here. Well, they fancy a short one. Gnabry. Now with Müller. Able to get his body in the way. They favoured a short one here. Gnabry. Back with Zane. Is it going to be Zane? Oh, the keeper made it look routine. And there it is. Germany are through to the quarterfinals. Yes, and thoroughly deserved, you have to say. Thought they controlled large parts of the game. They created enough chances. And if they can continue to replicate performances like this, they have to fancy their chances going forward. Well, a standout performance from Kai Havertz. Not for the first time, you've got to say. Stuart, he really turned on the style. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder. Took his goals well, too. Clearly the difference maker today. And now we know why Kai Havertz is considered a star at Chelsea. Germany dominates the competition late in the second as they get the 3-1 win over Canada, and Canada's miracle run has come to an end. As you could tell, they were no match for Manuel Neuer and the German national team. And that means, unfortunately, that Germany is done. Which means it's time to... Can we get to simulate and see who wins? Nope. Fortunately, the one thing I hate about these modern ones... We will now never know who wins in this universe of the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Well, it was indeed a strong run, but unfortunately we were no match for the German national team in the end. So I'd like to, So with that said, I'd like to thank you all so much for going on this little journey of Canada's attempt to make it to the World Cup final. Unfortunately, we just could not do it. Germany was just way too tough.
In any case, that means I will not be picking up FIFA 23 again until we get the Women's World Cup update later this year. But in any case, thank you so much for watching. Sorry, Canada, Canadian viewers. I just could not get it done. But in any case, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video regardless of my lack of skills at FIFA. Uh, we'll be back again at FIFA 23 when the Women's World Cup comes around in about a month or two. But until then, thank you all so much for watching. Have yourselves a wonderful rest of the day. And take care. Goodbye, everybody.